And today, because I live in New Jersey, we look at Soprano State, a documentary that highlights New Jersey's connection to corruption and crime, including the mob, the Sopranos. Steve Califer is the film's producer and also a New Jersey native, right? I am, and good morning, Betty. The interesting thing is that people think of the mob as being the traditional Sopranos. Yes, of the course. The mob now who made their bones are the elected officials. They are the new, the new, mob, the new mob, and uh, they're the ones who are collecting. Why would you say that? I mean, everyone thinks politicians are controlled by the mob. The politicians understand... In New Jersey, uh, I'm talking about. The, uh, the politicians in New Jersey understand very well that often if they say nothing, the next news cycle will make uh, people forget what it is that they promised or what they said. But the corruption tax in New Jersey is simply because the politicians are making certain that there are a lot of no-bid contracts. They're taking care of their friends. They're not opening it up to everybody else. That's the corruption tax. Right. And you highlighted in this movie, because I watched it over the weekend, um, you know, some of the figures that we've seen, you know, parade through and, and get jailed and get indicted. Uh, Sharp Janes, we, we heard about McGreevy, you know, of course, who came out. Um, and also, you, 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 you took a little bit of a look at uh, John Corzine as well. Um, you know, your purpose in bringing all of these stories together is what? To show that it's just this pattern here in New Jersey. There's a pattern of behavior, culture of corruption in New Jersey, which really has, is a caricature. But this culture of corruption is taking place all throughout the United States. Mm. Everybody is paying a corruption tax. They simply just don't know the rate. Did you get anybody to say how much this corruption tax costs? We did, uh, 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 one person uh, put it as high as 10 or 12 percent. The exact figure is unknown because, like most mobs, you really don't know what you're paying. You just know that you're paying it. <laughs> That's right. You know that they're out there. Okay, for you, why do you want to do this film? The story had to be told. I'm a New Jersey guy. I've made seven other documentaries. This film had to talk about what's been taking place in New Jersey for the last generation. It is something that has changed New Jersey. It has made people leave New Jersey. It has made businesses not trust New Jersey and leave on a regular basis. Well, you yourself, I mean, you own a fleet of dealerships, right, in Flemington. That's correct. Any personal experience? Well, just the experience of this, knowing that uh, having started 34 years ago with seven employees, having 700 employees, dealing with all the hurdles and with all the different rules, regulations, all the uh, things that stop you from going forward in business and running it efficiently, it is nothing more than a bunch of politicians protecting their turf. But, but what does that mean, though, exactly? I mean, how did you actually end up, I mean, did you end up facing moments in your time there in, as a business person uh, with corruption? There are, there, corruption can be illegal or there can be just a corrupt process. And the process of doing business often in New Jersey is corrupt. Sometimes not illegal, but corrupt. Okay. Did you have a hard time finding people to cooperate? We, we actually uh, had a great deal of help. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, good people uh, came forward. I'll tell you, the print media was absolutely fabulous. Everybody cooperated, uh, electronic media. Uh, and there were politicians that said, you know what, I'm tired of this, I want to help. But I will tell you, I received an awful lot of letters, threatening letters, from uh, politicians who uh, did not want to participate. And you don't want to name them? Uh, some are named, uh, but uh, we'll wait for part two. Uh, it is the Soprano State, state the Culture of Corruption, Part 1. Part 2 okay. will be coming a out. Anything to make of the fact that you're releasing this right before the midterm elections? That's coincidence. Uh, okay. And the fact that there's only one horror movie opening up in theaters this weekend. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Steve, for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate and uh, and uh, we look forward to, to, uh, uh, to seeing the film uh, do well this weekend. Oh.